Okay, so you just slid the charger in underneath the table. Yes. This is a regular IKEA table. Is it, I can see it underneath here. Uh, you can see it. It's not a very elegant. Uh, it's not a commercial grade. Trend. It's actually one of the surface ones that we shoot okay. for a higher distance. So it has the same properties we're going to see in those other places. Um, the cool thing is this is a this is a Qualcomm pattern in here. Okay. The phone this phone actually has a Qualcomm receiver inside of it. Okay. This and phone actually has, this is a Samsung phone, they're all Samsung phones. This is a Samsung receiver, this is okay. built by Samsung Electronics. And it works on the Qualcomm because it's standardized. Correct, yeah. We're all... Um, As it should be. <laughs> exactly. And, um, and then here's an iPhone, I'm going to put this on. And, and that's just with a special battery case, right? Exactly. To enable the wireless only, charging. It lights up for a second to tell you that it's charging, but... Now, would someone's um, would someone's wireless charging back if they replace that? Would that enable them to get the um, the resonance charging? In the back. Yeah, if they change the the battery back, or does uh, it have to be a completely different um, internal structure? It would be. I don't know which battery pack you're talking about. Like on the, the, the coils that they have on the uh, some of the Samsung phones or the oh, right. phones? Oh, yeah. right. Uh, so the, like, the, the, yeah, the other tech, the couple technology. Mm -hmm. So, yes. So um, what we have what we have in these phones is just a different receiver. And it's a okay. resonance certified receiver. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's going into the same charge ports that we use for the other technologies. Okay. So it would enable essentially the same thing. You just have to have a different back. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Exactly. So now we actually have three different, now they're all Galaxy phones, but they're three different implementations. We have Samsung Electronics, Samsung Electromechanics, and Qualcomm. So okay. Super, all on this single pad. It's going through the table already, and uh, we can actually get greater distance here. So I think it'll... Put a book in between? A book in between. Yeah, that's kind of awesome, because then you don't have to worry about, you know, whether or not you have surface... You don't have to be on the surface itself. Right. You can just stack things on top of each so other. So this is my around. desk, and uh, I just know that's where my charging spot is. Then, then I can uh, just drop it there and get it to work. Another key uh, characteristic of resins is the ability to metal doesn't affect the charge process. Okay. So that's why we've got these coins all spread out here. If so I got coins it. here, they're not going to heat up, and it's not going to turn off the charge. But having metal that would interfere in between might be an issue. Actually, well, it just it's, it's okay. there, so that's still still working. It's not going to heat up. Okay. But like you said, if there's a metal table, there might be some kind of issue. It's more so if I line this whole spot with coins, every inch covered with it, it probably wouldn't work. Okay. It will cause interference. So but, as of right now, there's still no no wireless technology that can. Beat the fact that you know if you have a metal case phone, you still can't do wireless charging. Correct. Through that, yeah. So then you're looking at more of a, uh, a case scenario. Correct. Right.